हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकाडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम टू ड्रॉ ए फोर्स वोल्टेज एंड फोर्स करंट एनालॉजी ऑफ ए मैकेनिकल सिस्टम टू राइट द फोर्स वोल्टेज एंड फोर्स करंट एनालॉग सर्क्यूट वी नीड टू फर्स्ट राइट द मैकेनिकल नेटवर्क ऑफ ए गिवन मैकेनिकल सिस्टम देन राइट द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस from that differential equation we can find the analogous circuit this is the mechanical system which is given now for this mechanical system first let us write the mechanical network to write the mechanical network let us go with uh, the node analysis where the number of nodes will be equal to number of displacement so in this mechanical system f of t is the applied force and x of t is the displacement since we are having only one displacement we can write only one node let us call that as x of t and let us write a reference line this force is applied to mass and due to this applied force there will be a displacement which is x of t so we can write the force towards x of t due to this applied force there will be opposing force by this mass this spring as well as this dashpot so there will be opposing force by the mass there will be opposing force by this spring and there will be opposing force by this dashpot this is the mechanical network for the given mechanical system now let us write the differential equations to write the differential equation let us write the direction of forces that are acting on different circuit elements so force will be acting towards x of t due to this applied force there will be opposing force by this mass m there will be opposing force by k and there will be opposing force by the dashpot so after writing this different direction of forces we can write the differential equations so from this we can say the applied force f of t will be equal to opposing force by mass opposing force by dashpot and opposing force by the spring k for this let us write the differential equations we can write f of t is equal to m d square by dt square displacement is x of t plus b d by dt displacement is x of t plus k x of t let us call this equation as equation number 1 now for this differential equation let us write force voltage and force current analogy first let us write force voltage analogy this force voltage analogy we have already studied in our lecture number 137 you can go through that video so that you can easily understand how to write the force voltage analogy for a given differential equation in force voltage analogy f of t is replaced by v of t m is replaced by l b is replaced by r k is replaced by 1 by c integration and x of t is replaced by i of t now using this analysis let us write instead of f of t we can write it as v of t is equal to instead of m we can write it as l so it is l d by dt i of t since x of t is replaced as i of t so b can be replaced by r plus r x of t we can write it as i of t plus k can be replaced by 1 by c 1 by c x of t is integration of i of t dt this is the equation for force voltage analogy using this equation let us write the electrical circuit so you can see v of t is the input and for different electrical elements here inductor resistor and capacitor the current is same that's why we can say all these elements are connected in series 
So, the input is V of t, the L R and C is connected in series. So, we can write uh, L R and 1 by C. The current which is flowing through this electrical circuit is I of t. So, we can write I of t. This is the electrical analogous circuit based on force voltage analogy. Now, let us see the force current analogy. So, force current analogy we have already understood in lecture number 138. We can watch this video to understand force current analogy. Always remember in force current analogy f of t is replaced by i of t, m is replaced by c, b is replaced by 1 by r, k is replaced by 1 by l integration and x of t is replaced by v of t. Using this analysis, we will write the force current analogous equation for this differential equation. So, f of t is replaced by i of t, i of t is equal to m d square by d t square x of t, we can write it as c d by d t v of t plus b is replaced by 1 by r, 1 by r v of t plus k is replaced by 1 by l, 1 by l integration of v of t d t. Using this force current analogous equation, let us write the circuit. If you observe this equation, v of t is common for all the circuit elements. So, the voltage is common for all the circuit elements, which means all the circuit elements are connected in parallel. If all the circuit elements are connected in parallel, only then we will get common voltage and the input for the circuit is i of t. We can write i of t which is input and all the circuit elements are connected in parallel since we are having common voltage. So, capacitor in parallel with resistor in parallel with the inductor. Let us write this as C this has 1 by r and this has 1 by l and for this we will be having a voltage which is common. So, this is the electrical analogous circuit based on force current analogy for a given mechanical system. Hope you have understood this topic. Thank you.